Hello everyone, it's been a testing day today. Every time I try to get the terror of the day out, my phone rings off the hook, I get text messages. It's been a go. Very similar to yesterday when the terror of the day came out extremely late. And I don't even think I posted it to a lot of the social media groups. But the deck has been shuffled and let's see what we get today. Earth, air, fire, and water. We've been getting the Five of Pentacles a lot, and it's been moving around uh, as the weeks go about. So there's something we got to start dealing with that, and hopefully that comes out in this reading. But first off, in the Earth, or in the Pentacle energy, we have the Nine of Wands inverted. The Nine of Wands is where we passionately defend ourselves for one reason or another. In some cases, it's one of those things where we feel like we're obliged to defend ourselves. Uh, in this situation, we find ourselves with the inverted version of that. Something could be challenging your work or your home, and you feel like you need to stand your ground, but you're not. You're reluctantly just letting it happen. Now is the time to make decisions and stand up. There's a lot of energy right now of people, and I think it could be because of we're coming back to, to life from COVID. A lot of people are pushing their boundaries and trying to advance beyond. It is okay for you to stand up and say no. Enough is enough and passionately defend your position. Don't fall into that trap. In the air suit, we have the shadow inverted. Now the shadow is the devil card in this deck. And I like how they call it the shadow because it refers to the Jungian shadow. It's the things that we do um, that are unhealthy in nature because of the dark side and it's inverted. This is all about disciplines and thoughts. And the one thing that goes against our productivity as an individual, let that be through our own personal development spiritually, let that be through our development uh, in our family, through growing even our, our basic gardens, is this shadow being that we, we encounter. It's a lot easier just to stop, go home from uh, traveling and sit down on the couch and drink a beer. It's a lot easier to do that. Then sit down, meditate, read, focus, uh, build interpersonal relationships, really work on our relationships. And so we're kind of recognizing that right now and we're kind of resisting the shadow. But it's important that we feed the shadow from time to time. Um, if we don't, then we're going to end up just with um, this big nasty shadow sitting there wanting to get things done. Uh, for its own edification, and then we pop and we end up going on a, a bender or saying horrible things to people that we shouldn't be saying horrible things to. Feed the shadow. Feed it. But feed it only a little bit. And then dismiss it right away. Because if you feed it too much, it'll take over. So that's kind of our discipline world right now. This card is the bane of me because... It is showing up nonstop. And right now it is showing up in our fire suit. This is our passions. Um, with the five of pentacles, we find ourselves in a position where we've gotten a little bit too big for our britches and we're paying for it. Things become stagnant, things become stale, things become barren. And that is directly a result of our own conduct. In the passion suit, it means that more or less, we haven't been living balanced enough, and we are now finding out that we are losing the things that we're passionate for, and we're having a hard time maintaining a stable and happy life at our homes. This card, as I said, has been around for a while, and I think that we have to be focused, we have to refocus our energies on our balance um, unilaterally, and that's partially because we're hugely resetting our whole entire day to day operations after COVID. Good news, though, we are finding a brand new passion in our intuitive and in our spiritual realm. Something new is presenting itself, and we should uh, hop on board that and celebrate that new power and passion deeply. We have a head card today, which is the Knight of Pentacles Inverted. Again, that's that forward-moving Earth energy, and it's resisting it. And I think part and parcel of resisting that comes in the fact that we're not really willing to stand our ground with our work. And we're allowing one way or another the shadow to dictate what we are doing leading to that stagnancy in relationships. But that new passion coming in is going to start putting us into a position where we can actually start moving forward with that pentacle energy and those things that nourish us. Our heart card is a card we continuously see too. Four of pentacles. 
Be very careful and choose who you give your energies to, where you should invest your time, and where you should get your investment from. If somebody is inviting you out for a nice cold beer when you haven't really been productive, perhaps you should not invest too much into that, and you should move forward with yourself. In today's reading, we see a lot of elements of the same thing we've been seeing. Choosing where to put our energies, balancing ourselves out, feeding into our energies. So, yeah, it's been quite the reading. It's been quite the re week and quite the month. And this actually does pertain to me, and I apologize for not having the tarot readings out on time. But I am the Ravenwood Re Healer, and this has been your read for today. Like, subscribe, and please share. Have a wonderful day.